Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. The shop is getting messier and messier, but I'm making progress. <laughs> but I'm uh, guessing the next step right now is to stop building and uh, start cleaning this uh, this shop <laughs> because it really looks nasty. Look at this, all cutaways and oh my lord, we'll get it fixed. But I guess I wanted to sh give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been happening the last week or so. <clears throat> I uh, I haven't had a lot of time to work with the flight sim, but I got a little bit done though. I installed two screens. These are the 18.5 inch LCD screens. They're 16 to 9 ratio and they fit like a glove. It really looks very good and they're slim like nothing else. So they don't take up a lot of room in here. I made some supports and I haven't mounted them to the uh, MIP itself quite yet because I'm, I probably, I'm probably going to have to do a little bit uh, some small adjustments here and there so we'll wait a little bit uh, the glare shield well I guess it looks just like it did before I mounted the end supports with the correct shape to um, for when I start the the uh, the panel underneath. I'm still waiting for pictures, real pictures of uh, how the original looks, and I'm uh, I'm gonna be unable to start doing anything about it until I get those pictures. Now let's look at have a look at the front. How this management panel looks. Yep. There's me. Hey, hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, um, as I said, I installed the two screens. And the reason for being so shiny like that, because I put the plexiglass uh, uh, between the bezel and the LCD screen in the back. It really needs to be cleaned. So there's a lot of dust here right now. But it look, it's looking good. And uh, I haven't encountered any problems, so I can I can keep uh, working on it now. I hate setbacks, don't you? Uh, also, I did mount this little uh, frame right here. It will be um, covered in epoxy to get the strength I need, and then it will be painted along with the rest of the maintenance rent panel. And uh, lower light panels. I got them installed today, actually. And I had a little bit of a problem with it because, you know, when you, you mount these 18 and a half inch monitors in the back here, you're going to have some of the screen sticking out down here. So I had to figure out how to do that, and I think it came out pretty darn good. So this little lip you see right there will be sanded down. Um, whenever the glue is dry, the next time I come over here, it'll be sanded down and uh, and filled, so it look, looks like one single stringer that runs over the main instrument panel. I did cut out the holes for the FMCs. I installed it just for show, and I'm really happy with the measurements I did. Remember, I I built this CDU bay before I even got these uh, flight management computers and uh, looking at this that's a pretty good good fit right there with the screen in the middle I did I have ordered up two 10.4 inch LCD screens from the United States and they're 4 to 3 ratio and they should fit the main instrument panel pretty good uh, it'll be no problem mounting in the first one up in the upper ACAS, but I think maybe I will have a little bit of a problem with the lower ACAS because the screens will meet and crash into one another up there. So I'm probably going to have to drag it down a little bit so it'll stick out a little bit right here in the back. I'll see when that time comes what I'll uh, do with it. But yeah. 
that's uh, that's about it guys for this little update uh, for the next time well I guess what I could do is start mounting all those switches and gauges and but I want to hold off a little bit because I still have a little bit of uh, uh, dirty work left you know with um, with that little um, cover that sits underneath and then I've been googling my ass off the last week to try to see if I can find any pictures of it and uh, people are trying to help me out they send me pictures of the of the uh, flying gravity MIP to see if it could help me out but I don't really want to construct it the way the um, flying gravity MIP is constructed because I don't know if I agree fully of uh, what they've done. I want to try to see if I can get pictures from the original Boeing and make my own. So that's about it you guys. Um, I have a guy in the United States, he works at, at, at an airline flying the Boeing 737 and he's helping me out with these pictures. I really, I'm sorry, but I do not remember your name right now. But I will be sure to make, uh, give you a shout out in my next video. No doubt about that, buddy. And I uh, sincerely thank you for uh, for the hassle you're going through with emailing me those pictures. And, and Yaren, that t-shirt, I've forgotten all about you, buddy. And that's the second or third time I forget about you. Listen, I'm going to try to put that t-shirt in the mail this week and email and email it. Well, if it's that, that easy, I'll email you a t-shirt. <laughs> I'll mail, mail you that t-shirt and you should have it by the end of the month, don't you think? All right, guys. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you next time. Okay? Bye-bye now. Bye.